Well, hello there, and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Another short video while I edit my longer ones. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this 8 output randomizer. Now, most randomizers in Minecraft take advantage of dropper random uh, randomization. No, dropper randomness uh, in selecting what they what they spit out when you power them. So basically, you'll have a dropper pushed into a hopper, um, and whenever you power it, it'll spit out something that either has, you know, that stacks to one, sixteen, or thirty-two, and all of those give a different comparator output, and that's how you randomize your things. However, the only things in Minecraft, um, or I should say, the only stack sizes in Minecraft are 1, 16, and 32, so those randomizers can never give you more than uh, three outputs. Um, you can chain them together to get multiple outputs, so for example, you can have a two output randomizer, and based on which output it gets, it goes into a different set of two output randomizers. Um, and that's usually what's done. Um, but you don't need to. So basically, I've created this 8 output randomizer that's much smaller than it would be if you tried to do it in the binary way of using droppers. And it, uh, it takes advantage of a hopper chain here. So, I want to be clear that this is not going to be as random as a dropper would be. But keep in mind that everything in computers is not random. So, com when computers you know, pick a random number like they do for droppers, it's pseudo-random. Meaning, technically, if you knew the seed, you could actually predict um, what's going to be spit out of that dropper every time. Uh, it's just hard to predict because you don't know the seed. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. So this is a little less random. What it does is, you have an item in this hopper chain, a single item, and it's just going in circles. And when you flip the switch, you don't know where that item is going to be, unless you know, uh, you know which hopper the item was in originally, and how long it's been loaded, and all of those things. So it's basically as random as a dropper randomizer, even if it seems like it's not. Um, and all of these options are uniformly equally likely to get picked, so by the mathematical definition it is actually random. So, enough defense of this, let me uh, show you how it works. So basically we have all of these uh, outputs, which in this case are just redstone lamps, but they can be anything you want and I've just numbered them so you can tell them apart. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and they're all off, right? When I flip this switch, it's going to pick one of those outputs literally randomly. So if I do that, there you go. Seven. If I turn this off, and then I turn it back on, this time it picked five. If I turn this off, and turn it back on. This time it picked one. So seven, five, one. It's just going to keep picking random ones every time. So again, this is pseudo-random, but so is everything else that you could possibly do on a computer, uh, or at least in Minecraft. Um, and it's got eight outputs, but it's much smaller than the binary method, so I think it's worth looking at. Plus, it's symmetrical, so it looks better. Um, so let me show you how this works. The key component of this is just a hopper chain, so these hoppers are all just pointed into each other in a circle. And then you put redstone dust on the top, and then a uh, lever in the middle. Or, this doesn't have to be a lever, this just has to be your input. But one key, very important fact, is that whatever you do to power this needs to strongly power this block underneath the lever. It needs to be strongly powered. If it's weakly powered, this is not going to work. Um, and it also needs to power this redstone dust, so if you power it from below or something with a, uh, well actually you can't do that, but, and you'll see why in a second. But however you power it has to power the redstone dust and strongly power this block below. 
Uh, and you might wonder why it has to power the redstone dust. If it powers the block, won't it lock all the hoppers? It won't lock the ones in the corner. So the redstone dust is really just to lock those as well as the ones on the sides. Um, so the idea is that there's one item in here, and it's just going around in circles. And when you flip the switch, it locks all of the hoppers, and so that item gets stuck where it is. But obviously you don't want to just take comparator outputs directly from that, because as the item is going around in circles, all of these are going to light up in a circle, and you know whoever's flipping the switch here is going to see exactly where the item is, and it'll be more like a roulette game than you know actual randomness. So what you want to do is you want to block all the outputs until the switch here is flipped. And so the way you do that is all of these comparators that are taking outputs from these hoppers are in subtract mode. And then underneath this block here, if I can get there without breaking anything, maybe? Yeah. Let's go here. So if we look here, this block here is where the lever is. When you flip that switch, it strongly powers this block, and that powers this little radial redstone line here. And I love how symmetrical this is, because that makes it look much better and it makes it more compact. Um, but basically, this redstone line, when powered, powers all of these torches, right? All each end here goes into a block with a torch and turns it off. Those torches power the blocks above them. And uh, let's see if I can find my way out. How do I get out of here? Okay. So those torches power these blocks next to the comparators. And then that powers the redstone dust, which locks these hop uh, sorry, locks these comparators. And by locks, I should actually be saying it shuts them off. So when you have one item going around in this hopper chain, the output from that item uh, for all of these comparators is only going to be a signal strength of one. And these are all in subtract mode, so with the torch underneath powering this, which it will if I turn this off, you'll see, when this is powered, this is a strength 15, and this is 14, but the, uh, the biggest signal coming out of these comparators from the hoppers is going to be 1. So when you subtract 15 or 14, it reduces it down to 0 and it shuts off the output. Um, and so that's basically how it works. When you turn this off, all of the outputs are shut off, so you don't actually see what where the item is at any given point, but the item is still flowing through this hopper chain, so it's still you know, cycling through all the numbers. And when you do that, it stops cycling through the numbers, but it also turns off these uh, cutoff switches and allows the output to go through the comparator and into you know whatever you have it connected to, in this case a lamp. So yeah, pretty simple. Uh, nice and symmetrical. These blocks here, these floating sandstones, um, they do need to be there, and it's unfortunate because it does mess up the aesthetics a little bit. It makes it look a little unsymmetrical. Um, I mean, I guess if you want it to be fully symmetrical, well, no, it's not going to work either. You could do something like, yeah, no, sorry, it's a little asymmetrical. Um, it's still technically radially symmetrical, it's just a little offset. Um, those have to be there, because otherwise, this redstone dust will connect to this redstone dust, and you'll notice they're supposed to be inverted from each other, so... If you um, if you don't have these blocks here, that redstone line will be on all the time, which means you'll get no output and the hoppers will be locked, so it won't actually do anything. Um, so you do need these blocks here to stop that. Uh, unfortunately, you, you have to do that because uh, comparators will only take as side input uh, either a redstone dust line or a redstone block. They won't take anything else as uh, side inputs. And actually, until 1.9, they didn't even take a block of redstone as a side input. They only took redstone dust. So, yeah. And that means that this has to be dust. <coughs> Excuse me. 
uh, this has to be dust. And so it's always going to connect to this line without breaking it with a block. Um, now, technically, there, there's you could do um, a sticky piston with a redstone block above it and have that power this, and that would work. But then you have moving parts, and it becomes loud, and, you know, it's I like stuff to be as solid state as possible, so it's as quiet as possible. And this is completely silent, except, obviously, the input, because there's no silent inputs, but... Yeah. Um, cool. So, hopefully, this will help you out in the future. And also, just so you know, this can be extended to more than eight... Uh, outputs you just add more hoppers to the chain you just have to make sure that um, that these here these comparators are spaced out so you need to be able to get that cutoff line that cutoff line into the side of every single comparator if you have three comparators in a row one of them will not have a space to send that line into, and it won't be able to be cut off, and then it won't work. So keep that in mind. Um, but for eight outputs, it works, and it's nice and symmetrical, and obviously you don't have to use all of these outputs. You can group them together. So for example, you can have these two lines uh, connected to the same output, and then either one of these would give an out. Uh, you know, would give the same output, and you'd only have seven total. But keep in mind that if you do that, you are changing the probabilities. Um, right now, every one of these has an equal chance of being chosen. Um, but if, say, these two were combined into one output, then that output would actually have twice the chance of being chosen as any other output. So you can mess with the probabilities by combining output lines like that if you want. But just keep in mind if that's not what you're after that you're going to be doing that. So make sure that each output is connected to the same number of hoppers or else you're going to have some probability changes. But yeah, so that is an 8 output randomizer in Minecraft in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 square blocks. Uh, yeah. Until next time, wait, wait, let me do it right this time. Until next time, keep randomizing, keep redstoning.